this is more like a reaction video to the comment section of a video i uploaded some time ago i have gotten so many comments on that video and i'm still getting comments but most of the comments i see there are comments like this is disgraceful this is shameful this is this that this is that that this is wrong oh you're working with the enemy in case you're wondering which of the videos are you talking about i'm talking about a video i made of about the u.s military being trained by the ghanaian military at the jungle warfare here in ghana so when i posted that video i didn't expect the reaction that i got some of the comments that i got on that video are not from the names i can I, I see there and most of them are not ghanaians in fact many of the names i could recognize them because i know i'm you know i'm nigerian and i know us by our names so some of the names are nigerians and a lot of the things that they have to say not all nigerians some on that video are this is shameful you have sold yourself out you are being their slave you are being their this so many delogatory words were being used on that video comment section but you know what i realize now it is official that from that comment section i can tell that nigerians are many nigerians are actually jealous of ghana i hate to make things up all right i am a nigerian so if i say anything wrong about my country it means i'm part of it right which is cool so i hate to make up things just for whatever i feel like addressing it and throwing more lights and breaking things so i can break things down for better understanding especially if this if these people will come back to see this video it is a clear sign that a lot of nigerians are envious of ghana see let me tell you something you know before now a lot of you didn't know that nigeria has absolutely nothing especially the public sectors right you think because you had giant of africa you've had so many great stories of athletes and afrobeat stars from nigeria billionaires and marvelous churches incredible mega churches and of course our darling nollywood movies so a lot of the times what comes to mind when you talk about nigeria especially to african countries now apart from the negative reputation that we have successfully built for ourselves when other african countries want to read us they always think of us like highly highly nigeria has all the best schools best hospitals best this they have partnerships with united nations they have partnerships with, with america i mean but in reality you realize that that is not the case and for some of us that have made up our minds to not cover up anything because i will not cover if i won't say rather than lie i will just keep quiet anything i tell you i'll make sure it is nothing but the truth yeah i know it has an effect because it makes Makes me look unintelligent but that is fine <laughs> it's not a problem so when i saw that comment section a lot of the names are nigerians and i realized that this is pure jealousy i mean how do you feel that america coming to ghana to be trained by the ghanaian soldiers means them coming to to understand what is shameful in this what is shameful about american i mean american soldiers coming to be trained trained by the Ghanaian soldiers there is nothing wrong with that that is a good thing a lot of the people that are saying oh shameful is wrong slavery these are people that have sold their own portion of their family lands <laughs> in Africa they have sold family uh, properties they have taken loan from the banks in their homeland they have sold everything they have done crowdfunding they have done so many things for them to have a piece of America like for them to go to America so how come after all of that you do all of these things but then the same America the country that everybody wants to go to a lot of people not everybody i know but if it's offered to me right now i will take it because come on i will take it you don't understand i will take it no matter what you guys say is oh it's not good there is is it is where is it good it's not good anywhere it's hard life is not easy for any adult right now so i will take it gladly and i'll i'll be grateful for it and not because i want to accumulate wealth okay but because at least it will help me it will just give me like 
if I can get it on the, like, be able to get a job, be able to get something, be able to work, to eat, if it's just to feed myself without having to bother anybody, without having to, you know, I would take it. So no shame in it. Just like some people would take it, sell their lands, crowdfund, do all sort of, take loan. So what is wrong if Americans now look at the whole of Africa and be like, okay, so then how come all of a sudden it is wrong for the same America to look at a country in Africa and say, okay, oh, you see that country? They got what we don't have. We want to work with them. Let's go to them. They do business with them. Let's go and be students. So who is a slave now? Is it not you who will sell your father's land, sell whatever you have here to go to them? Mm? So Ghana isn't the slave. They are the one who seek, like they seek for knowledge and come here. So it's supposed to be a thing of pride. I mean, it's supposed to be something to be proud of. But jealousy and envy just got some people saying things anyhow. But I understand where that is coming from. Ghana is forever going to be ahead. Now, let's throw back to many 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 years ago a lot of us were not born let's throw back to when the, when the Ghanaian soldiers were recruited and taken abroad for training all right so let's watch that face i'll come back let's go fairford raf station hercules transport brought in 300 soldiers of the Ghanaian army for a three-week training program in charge of the movement captain gershon saeed Captain Sai reported to the High Commissioner for Ghana, Major Seth Anthony. The unit will train with British troops, a rifle company being attached to the South Wales borderers at Lid, and a company of paratroops to the parachute regiment at Aldershot. Later, they'll all meet on Salisbury Plain for exercise double diamond alongside their British hosts. Meanwhile, the 1st Battalion and the Welsh Regiment are in Ghana on an exchange visit. You see, they went, they trained, they came back home and made great use of the knowledge that they acquired there. And then many, many years later, reverse became the case. So it tells you something. Nobody is an island. We are all there to help each other. When the Ghanaian soldiers were going to America to train, to be trained, the government of Ghana sent them go and acquire and come back, put it to use. Nobody complained about that. That was a normal thing to a lot of people. So sometimes it baffles me how people reason. But this is not, I don't take it personal because I know this is pure envy. Now let's take a look at Italian soldiers coming to Ghana to train, to be trained by Ghanaian soldiers. Let's go. you have it it is okay for you to call you know some people have the habit of discrediting things that they do not have but they wish for it but do not have it can't have it never ever gonna have it because america you like it or not no matter how some people try to demonize america yeah 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 you still want to go there so it means they are cool the only way for you to tell me a country or a person is bad is by cutting them off so if you're complaining of 
them coming to be trained here oh they want to enslave they want to how how do how do some people think now what about the italian soldiers that are here that came to ghana to train by to be trained by the ghanaian soldiers in tamale so what is that i don't understand how a lot of people think but i understand that this is coming from pure envy and jealousy and i understand there are so many things that ghana is doing and they are doing it right the annoying part for me is that sometimes these comments are from nigerians that do not like their country they wish for it to crumble they want her to break apart because they want to go to their own they wish for a new country so the energy that they put into disliking belittling and disregarding other african countries why don't you put it to use by doing research so that you can break free from that country that you don't like you even have a name for the country that is associated with animals so why don't you because they are the ones i saw you know their names are the ones i'm seeing there i kind of like get really confused what is wrong with that what is wrong with ghana exporting knowledge nothing is wrong with that i acquire knowledge years later i can export like years later i started to export the same knowledge they came to me to acquire it i don't understand is it there is it that there's something about this white supremacy thing that a lot of our black people are intimidated and all that you see the same opportunity that ghana got and they will continue to get if you give it to nigerians <laughs> they will take it but unfortunately i don't see america working with nigeria yeah they can send it like the one they recently sent to bruno state they can do it they can send it to go and help you know help give and help they can give but you can't see them go there to say they want to partner for anything what are they partnering with what that they're partnering with at some point in time the israeli government came up with the idea of sending military to help book to help the nigerian soldier fight uh, these people boko haram i heard in the news that it was turned down that they can do it Chebi with it. i can't say too much you but that is what i can say please if um if you're not a Ghanaian and i do content that you can't relate it's okay not to comment because i don't see how the relationship between slavery and this like what is wrong with them coming to learn from us when we go to them to learn so yeah i just feel like addressing that and i want people to know that i know where this is coming from this is pure envy and jealousy and it has to stop on youtube here yeah, you see them oh you want to fend and send nigeria you want to die oh you want to kill us oh you want to sell oh tomorrow they are doing it once they see that money they want to do even they will destroy yeah on a good day okay <laughs> so make when i leave ghana alone ghana go they win they go i will wish my country well once women start getting treated the right way i will wish my country well i will speak good of her i will not expose her evil secrets again especially when our women and children are protected and respected until then <laughs> until then until then god bless ghana